Hey everyone, Dan here. And Cody here, and we're from Protocase, and we're going to do another Proto Tech Tip this week on a couple questions we had surrounding our bending processes. Alright, on to the first question. You guys have a bending table on your website. Am I able to use any value I want from there? So that's a pretty common question we get that's a bit difficult to understand, so I'm glad we have the chance to clear this up. Uh, some of you may have noticed on our website that we have a pretty massive bending table consisting of a lot of different bend radii and minimum bend values. So this table can actually be pretty intimidating for a first time user, so I'm going to break down what some of the columns are. Um, there's material, material thickness, a bend radius, and a minimum bend value. Uh, the bend radius is what is actually formed on the part during the bending process, and the minimum bend value is the distance that a cutout or flange can be from the edge of the bend during bending. So the values that you see in the table are numbers that we calibrated doing what we call bend tests. We form the material using a punch and die, measure the bend radius, and then figure out the bend deduction value. We have a number of different tooling combinations available. Each set of numbers in the table corresponds with a different punch and die. Each punch and die have their own profiles, and some profiles are better for certain bends than others. So if you see a value on our table that you're interested in using, there's no guarantee that it will work with the profile of that tooling as you may have interfering bends or cutouts that could be too close to the bend and prevent it from bending up properly. So if you have a requested bend radius that you would like to use in your design, make sure to reach out to us. Our engineering team can make sure that that profile can be used. Now on to the second and last question. How do you guys handle cutouts that are too close to a bend? Is drilling or notching preferred? Uh, so typically this is picked up at the quoting stage up front and you would be informed that you have a cutout or hole that is too close to the bend. Uh, typically our engineering team will default to notching this cutout to prevent it from stretching. However, if it is a circular hole, we are able to drill it out to size. As long as we have a drill bit that is within plus or minus five thousandths of an inch. Um, however, if you do have a preference, make sure to let us know as early as possible and we can make sure that, that gets done for you. So here you can see a typical fan cutout that is placed a little bit too close to the bend. And after bending occurs, you can see the resulting deformation. So to prevent this from happening, we would add a notch to our bend radius to preserve this cutout. As you can see, there is no deformation that occurs when we notch the bend radius. So one of the first tech tip videos we ever done was actually about minimum bend distance. You can check it out in the link below. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm Cody. And I'm Dan. And we'll catch you next week.